After finishing the season with a perfect record of 35-0, the Class 4A champion Warriors celebrated with a Main West student body in the Plains. Well, just how special has it been coaching this group of young ladies? This is a tremendous group of young ladies. They're, they're just the most positive, the most hard-working group of young ladies I've ever been around. So. Um, always wanting to win. Losing wasn't an option for these girls. What do you feel is your fondest memory of this season? Um, my fondest memory is probably just all the time we spent together in the hotel and out and before even we went downstate. We're just so close. All of us are friends. We're, we, are ba we are a family. We cannot spend enough time with each other. We just love each other all so much. You had the third place finish last year. How much of a motivational factor was that for you guys heading into this season? A, a big part just because we knew what we came for and we wanted first. So um, we set our standards high and obviously we achieved them. So it's just nice that we had last year to have like sort of a practice run and then this year to actually achieve it. How did you guys celebrate? Probably didn't get much sleep that night. No, we had, so when we came here, um, there was a police escort, which is nice, but um, when Coach T came into the room that we were, uh, where our locker room was, uh, we started like dumping water on her and she ran out the room. It was really fun. Talk a little bit about the, the student body here at, at Maine West and the community and, and all the support that you have gotten over the years. Everyone at the school is close and supportive. You'll see the same atmosphere at a basketball game as you will as a football game or even like a volleyball game. So everyone just is there to support. We want to show why our school is the best. Incredible career. You ended with the state championship. What advice would you give to next year's team? Just try to keep it going and work hard every practice because every team is going to be working just as hard as you. So if you're not working one day, then they're going to get better than you. Keep playing hard. Keep playing defense. Um, it's not always the most talented team that wins. It's many times the team that prepares and plays the hardest. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So I think that these girls believe that. What has being a part of Maine West basketball meant to you? I started coming to the camps in like sixth grade, probably even earlier than that. And it started with Coach Kip. And so starting in the camps and seeing like Brittany Collins and all the other players before us, I always wanted to be like them and like when I made it to high school I always wanted to be like a good player so I think that motivated me more because they set a really good example and then once I got here coach Kip really told like me and the whole team that we could do anything and I think that kind of like mindset like drove it to where it is today. You know we're very proud to be put in that group of teams with Mr. Kip you know who had that undefeated season. Um, it's rare and uh, you know to be put with the likes of Daryl Kipp is something that I would consider to be very privileged and that group of girls who did that. Um, so we're just trying to continue to build on the legacy that was here before us. 